Oh, the American Mathematical Society's headquartered here in Providence, and it's still on dry land, so we're very happy about that. Uh, and that's the website for the game. Uh, who wants to be a mathematician? Which is the game we're playing today, the contest. We have eight students, and we're breaking up, or we've broken up into two games of four students each. Uh, these here, believe it or not, are here for game one, and then after that, we'll do game two with the other four contestants. So I think we're ready to roll. They're definitely ready to roll. They're going to get us off stage. We're sick of being up here. Uh, so we're definitely ready to roll. So we'll see the uh, prizes that they're playing for uh, in both games. Both games, the fourth place contestant will win what's happening in mathematical sciences. That's a set of uh, books about what's, what's going on in math. Uh, and it's a seven volume set. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, there's no, uh, there's no funny schools to go to or princes or anything like that. But it's a seven volume set that just right behind Harry Potter in the Amazon book list. Uh, and it tells you both about pure and applied mathematics. Uh, third place will win the entire subject of calculus, so that way you don't have to take the AP exam, so that's great. Uh, no, it, it will win a calculus book from John Wiley and Sons. That will also give you the uh, 4x4 so you can carry it and drive home. Uh, second place in each contest will win Maple 13, software from the MapleSoft company. It does algebra, differential equations, calculus. Uh, and but it doesn't win three thousand dollars no matter what it does. Uh, and in first place in each game will win uh, the TI Inspired Graphic Calculator and five hundred dollars. Uh, and then we'll go head to head with the winner of the other game for another five hundred dollars. And the winner of that head to head contest uh, has a chance at the two thousand dollar bonus question. So someone could win uh, three thousand uh, dollars. And so so those are the prizes that the people are playing for in each game. And here are all ten contestants. This is a good chance where you can uh, screen the clap or whoever you want to. Uh, and we have them in alphabetical order. Some of them are on stage. And oh, those are Stephen Pederudi from Rocky Hill School. This is Dan Dillon Well. I am Elizabeth Power Serrano. So those are the eight contestants that will be playing today. Thank you for being here on stage. And uh, we'll identify the sponsors who donate those prizes. Texas Instruments, of course, the graphic calculator. <laughs> uh, MapleSoft uh, donates the software. A mathematical software, John Wiley and Sons, the calculus book, and then the American Mathematical Society uh, donates me, uh, and, the, and the money, uh, and uh, the set of books, that, uh, what's happening in the mathematical sciences. So uh, here now, more chance to clap. Uh, the contestants for game one, right up here on stage. And again, an alphabetical order. Eric Chan, right here from the Lincoln School. So we'll do a practice question just so you see how the game's going to work. What part of the name of the new bridge, the Jamestown Verrazano Bridge, is also the name of a town in Rhode Island? Is it the Rhode Island, uh, Jamestown Rhode Island, Verrazano Rhode Island, or Bridge Rhode Island? Uh, so each time the question will be up here, the choice is here, and then in game one, the contestant are numbered one through four, and uh, the, the box for that number will light up whenever they signal in. Uh, and then in game two, it'll be five through eight. Uh, here we have the question number. It'll be one through eight in the regular game. Then how many points the question is worth is here. Uh, and then the timer's over here. The contestants have to signal in before that gets to zero. It doesn't go to negative numbers. So you see the, uh, and this is a practice question, so even if you get this wrong, it won't hurt you. Uh, or even if you get it right, it won't help you too much either. Uh, we'll see how this uh, went. And then everyone knew it was James Town Rhode Island. Very good, nice going. Uh, so yeah, after the question, it, it lights up and green the correct choice, and then the number of people that pick that choice, uh, and any other choices also is, is next to that letter.